Hello everybody and welcome to part 7 of our matplotlib tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about loading data from files. So it's a really popular request for people like how do I actually get data from you know, a CSV file, let's say, is usually the most common example, but I mean there's other, other files. How do I get that data from a CSV to matplotlib? Now, depending on the, vo the file type and how that file is structured and all kinds of stuff, I mean the, this process can vary, but for the most part, the, there's two major ways to do it. One, you can use the built-in CSV, uh, but two, you can use NumPy. If you don't have NumPy, same holds true for every time is basically what I told you in the beginning too. Pip install, and then instead of six, NumPy. That's it. If you're on a 64-bit version of uh, Python, then you might not have the ability to just easily download NumPy. So what you would want to do, I'm pulling it up at the moment, is you want to head to this website here. It's got a, it's the unofficial binaries website for all kinds of Windows packages. And usually what I do when I get here, control F, NumPy, hit NumPy, bam, here you go. These are the wheels. If you don't know how to install a wheels uh, file, the easiest thing that you can do is head on over to pythonprogramming.net, start learning, and let's say here, pip, just search for pip, uh, how to download and install packages with uh, pip, click on that bad boy, wouldn't you know it, there's a tutorial for that, and we'll move that ad for now. And then, so you can come down here and learn all, you know, how you can install modules, either with pip or even wheels with pip, so if you're not familiar, go for it. So anyways... Uh, once you're you're ready and you've got NumPy and all that, we can begin this uh, tutorial. So, uh, we'll let's reinstate our PLT legend and our labels here. We no longer want to have a pi uh, pi at all, so just get rid of the rest of the data basically. And so first, we'll we'll consider using uh, the CSV, the built-in CSV. So import CSV. So let's say you had a file, and that file was called example.txt. So what we can do is we can add that file. So here we go. Uh, this is just where I'm building. This is where I'm writing the script. So this is the script that we're working on right now. So wherever you've got it, you can just right-click, new, and then let's make a text document, and we'll just call this example. The way that you, you can use CSV to open a TXT file, okay? You can use NumPy to open text files that are actually .csv. It does not matter. So what we can do is edit uh, with Notepad, or we can just e even just open it. This one's pretty simple, actually. We, don't even need, we can just use the regular Notepad here. So let's say you've got a file, and it's got, you know, separated by new line is the variable. So you might have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a 10. And then you've got comma, 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 comma. And then you've got random variables here. Let's just, you can put whatever you want. You don't have to worry about copying me. Just put some data in there. Okay, cool. Got our sample file. Save that. We'll close that. And we're pretty much all set making the file. Now, how do we use CSV to read that file? Well, first, let's make some empty lists. So X equals an empty list. Y equals an empty list. Good to go. Now, what we're going to say is with open... And because I'm on Windows, I can reference this file locally. If you're on Linux, you may or may not be able to do this. Or if you're on Mac, I'm not sure if Mac allows that or not. But you may or may not need to give the full path to the file. On Windows, you can just give the local path, and that would be example.txt. I want to open that with the intention to read with R, and we're opening it as CSV file. Then what we're going to say is the plots will equal csv.reader. And we're opening or reading the CSV file. And then delimiter will be equal to a comma. Delimiter is, you, you'll hear, like, what is it delimited by or something? This is what they're separated by. So CSV, comma, separated, you know, variable or values, I guess. Uh, they, the delimiter is a comma. In our case, the delimiter is a comma. But in some cases, you might have a colon as the delimiter or who knows. It could be a lot of stuff. So... Uh, so that'll be plots. Then uh, we're going to say for row in plots x dot append. Uh, and we, right now, when you read files, generally, it's loaded in as strings. So we need to convert them to either a float or an int. Since we know they're all integers, we'll convert them to int. So int row 0, and then we'll say y dot append int row 
one. Okay. So plots was each line, right? So it was it was basically reading it line by line, um, or actually plots would be like the whole list separated line by line. Okay. And then we're saying for row and plots, we're gonna append, and each row is separated by these commas. So it's almost like it's already built. And we might even we could have possibly gotten away doing this another way, but that's okay. I don't really tend to use CSV, but I thought it'd be worth showing CSV since it's built in. Uh, anyway, so now we've got the, the data anyways, whatever. We can do plt.plot x comma y, because we just populated them. And then we could say uh, the label here is loaded from file. That should be it. We can save and run that now. And there it is. There's our data. It loaded that inter uh, this interesting graph for you to check it out from our file that we wrote. Awesome. Now we can close this. And now let me show you another way. And this is probably the more popular way. Uh, and the reason why is you can use this to work with date data as well pretty easily. Uh, also, NumPy is just faster. It's not going to require us to do any like conversions. Like like this is pretty messy. So so uh, I'll leave this here. I'll just um, maybe what I'll do is I'll call this you know part one, and then I'm just going to comment it out with triple quotes. And now we're going to do part two. So part two will be import NumPy as NP. Again, that's just that's you know standards basically. And then we'll make some space here, and then this is where we're going to write our NumPy code. So what we can do with NumPy is first of all we can unpack into x and y, and then we're going to say np.loadtxt. So we can use NumPy to load a text file into it. And again, this doesn't have to be a .txt. It just needs to be. It could be a .csv. It just needs to be a, a file with text in it. <laughs> so that's it. Anyway. The file that we want to load, same as before, example.txt, we already made that. You do need to specify a delimiter. That is uh, a comma. And then you have to say unpack equals true. So unpacking, like with most many functions, you don't have to say, like, yeah, unpack equals true. You just do x, comma, y, or whatever, two variables, and it unpacks. But basically what unpacking does is numpy.loadText basically returns this list that each list has two elements in it. So what we can do is like here, we were a little unable to unpack it. We would have had to basically map the list or basically to do that. But we could have done this all in one line, but it would have been complex. Uh, but we're gonna use NumPy because NumPy is complex, but we don't have to worry about the complexity. We're just loading it. We say what the delimiter is and we say, hey, we wanna pack or unpack the variables separated by that delimiter into X and then Y. So that's good, and that's but this will only work if you have you know two variables. Like if you added a z here, it's the, it'll, you'll get an error. It'll say too many values to un or not enough values to unpack. And then if you just had an x, it would say too many values to unpack. But anyway, x y that should work. And then again, we basically use this exact line. So I'm just going to take this line, copy, paste, and that's that. Let me clean this up a little bit. And now let's save and run that. And again, same graph. Um, just used NumPy to load it instead of CSV. So anyways, that's just a really quick tutorial on loading information from a file. Uh, another popular source of information is online, so we will actually be covering how to load data from the internet as well, so don't worry about that. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. If you got any questions or comments up to this point, please do feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.